Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to sample the material properties from one object and apply them to another object in Dimension, all with just one click. Okay, so this little trick is a must know in Dimension. So you might apply a material to an object, you might customize that material extensively, spend a lot of time, you don't want to repeat that process for another object if you want them to have the same material. You can apply one material to another object in a single step. Uh, I can't wait to show you this. This is such a nifty time saver and we're gonna jump into it right now. Rightio, so we're now in Dimension and you can see I have a new document. And I'm going to start by clicking on the cube object and we'll just move this over here. Press Command or Control D to duplicate. Drag this one over here. So we've got our two cubes that I'm going to be using as an example. And I'm going to have to just move these around a little bit just so they sit centrally. There we go. Oh, such a perfectionist. OK, so we have our two cubes. Now I'm going to select the one on the left and go over to the Materials tab and pick a nice textured material. So let's go with brushed iridescent metal. I'm gonna drag this onto the left one. Wow, and you can see that looks pretty awesome. And if I select the cube on the right, what I can do is go over here to the sampler tool, left click and hold, and we get a few different options. So I've got the screen color sampler tool selected. And what this enables me to do is just click on different points and it will sample that one specific color and apply that as a solid base color to the entire shape. This behaves very similarly to the eyedropper tools in apps like Photoshop and Illustrator. So if you use Adobe's other tools, you're probably familiar with this. However, there is another one over here as well. So we can select the material sampler. And what this enables us to do is click on it. Well, before I go any further, let me show you the real benefit of this. So I'm gonna select this cube on the left. We'll go in here, we'll make some changes. I'm gonna open the base color in Photoshop. And we're just gonna add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We'll do something pretty crazy, save that and close, jump back into dimension. And then I'm gonna go and delete the metallic map. I'll delete the roughness map as well. These essentially define how the texture is going to be displayed. So if I bring the roughness down and the metallic up, you can see when I render this, it looks super, super metallic. Now, let's just say I spend a lot of time customizing this particular material. I don't want to spend ages reapplying that to another object. So I can simply select this object, grab this particular material sampler tool, click, and then it applies that exact same material with all the properties that I've customized to another object. And trust me, when you start adding multiple objects to your scene, you add materials, you customize those materials. It's a very nifty time saver just to be able to single click on an object and have those customized materials applied to another object. And I only found this out five minutes ago. And there we go. So there's a nifty trick to save you a ton of time in Adobe Dimension. If you're spending a lot of time customizing materials, applying those to other objects, well, you can now do it in just one click. So I hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.